Welcome to Change It Up Daily, sponsored by Core Health and Fitness. My name is Abby Apple. Today we have a 30 minute core workout, moving in all directions and lots of different positions. We start with a short warm up, followed by two seven and a half minute AMRAPs. What's an AMRAP? AMRAP stands for as many rounds as possible. So within the seven minutes, we'll do four different exercises performed for 10 reps each. When we finish the four exercises, we just start over and continue doing those movements over and over until the seven and a half minutes is up. You get a short break and then we do one more seven and a half minute AMRAP, four new movements, same thing, 10 reps, and then you're done with the work. Then we do a short little stretch, cool down, and then you're finished. Let's get started. Let's start on the ground with a quick warm up. So start by lying on your belly. Elbows under your shoulders, curl your toes under, pull your abdominals up, pull your abs away from the floor. When you're ready, lift your knees off the floor and form a straight line from your head all the way to your heels. Holding this for about 10 seconds, and I'm looking at a stopwatch. Brace for your core, engage your glutes, open your arms, and lower yourself back down to the floor. Toes on the floor, lower your chest. Arms come behind you. So you're looking at the floor, lift the back of your head, your neck, and your shoulders as one unit, to activate your middle back. Keep your legs down, keep your feet down, lower your chest. Let's do that three more times. Lift, abs are still pulled up and in, lower back down. Two more times, lift up. Take a deep breath, reach your fingers towards your heels, lower back down. Last one, lift up. Exhale, lower back down. Elbows back underneath you. Let's repeat the first exercise. Pull your abdominals up, curl your toes under, push the floor away, lift your knees back up. Now this time, Start to shift your weight forward and back. Looking at your fingers, keeping your eyes lifted. Head stays in line with your neck and the rest of your spine. Five more seconds of this. And lower all the way back down the floor. Toes on the ground. Once again, coming back to your spinal extension. This time, hands on the floor. Lift your chest. Reach your arms out as you lower your chest. Pull your elbows in as you lift your chest, engaging the middle muscles of the back. Let's try that again. Lift up, open your chest. Lower back down, reaching long with your arms, shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the elbows into the body. Look at the floor and lower back down. Keep your toes on the floor. Squeeze, pinching your shoulder blades just a little bit together and lower your chest. One more time, lift. Take a deep breath and lower back down as you exhale. Elbows come underneath you once again. This time, start to shift your weight front and back or side to side. So if you can see me right now, I'm moving my weight from shoulder to shoulder, keeping the glutes engaged, the abs are engaged, still keeping my eyes forward, just a little bit of shifting, now do circles, little circles. So you're going from one elbow, shifting forward to the other elbow, then shifting back, and then switching direction. Try one more in each direction. Keep breathing, make sure you're not holding your breath here. Lower back down, and one more with the spinal extension. Reach your arms back. This time, lift your chest. Rotate and look over one shoulder. Toes remain on the floor. Open your chest to one side. Lower all the way back down. Rotate back to center. Lift up. Rotate again. Look over your elbow. Look over your shoulder. Rotate back to center and lower. Let's do that two more times. Lift. Rotate. Look. Keep reaching through your fingertips. Come back to center. Lower back down. And one more time. Lift up. Rotate. Center and back down. Bring your hands back in. And we should be ready for the first seven and a half minute AMRAP. All right, we're starting our first AMRAP seven and a half minutes on the ground. I will show you all four exercises. I have them written here for me, but I'll keep reminding you. And don't forget that you can do these movements at your own pace, as slow or as fast as you need to with control. First exercise. Starts right here in a plank position, shoulders directly over the wrists, nice long line from your head to your heels, hips go up to the ceiling, one hand reaches to the opposite foot, and then back to center. Same thing on the other side. We have 10 reps total of this. Next exercise, V-sit rotation, which we've done before. Feet up, feet down, legs can be straight, your choice, but all of them, your body's at a slight angle, abs are flat. We rotate. Moving the shoulders and the arms as one unit. This is 20 reps, 10 on each side. 
So make sure you're counting your 10 to 20 reps. Good. Next, elbow to knee. And I'll go through the modifications again as we start to get into the workout. Legs are nice and long, arm comes over the head, elbow to knee. Now for less challenge, you can touch your top foot to the floor each time. And even less challenge, bend your bottom knee. Top leg lifts, elbow to knee. This time it's 10 total. That means five on each side. Just make sure you're executing each movement with control. Last one is a butterfly sit-up. Yes, we're doing a sit-up. Heels together, toes open, all the way down. Arms come up over your head to the ceiling. Lift your head, roll yourself up, sit up straight, and then roll back down. Ten of these total. We repeat those for seven and a half minutes, and then we are done with round one. All right, getting my stopwatch on so I can be as honest as possible with you. All right, are you ready? Get into your plank position now. Here we go. Feet wider than hip width. Start it. You've got 10 and 9 and 8. Now, at one point, I'm going to stop counting these. Seven, so you've got to count on your own. That's it. Reach your hips to the ceiling. Push your heels down to the floor. I've got four more. Anybody else? Three. Two. Last one. And then we move on to the V sit. Only four to remember. So chest is lifted. One, two, three, four. Chest up. Five. Rotate your spine thoracically. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Roll over onto one side. Side plank. So elbow underneath the shoulder. Don't forget, bottom knee can be bent or the legs are straight. Arm comes overhead. Five. Four, control, three, two, and one. Now roll to the other side and do five over there. Same thing, bottom knee can be bent. Nice long line from your head all the way to your hips. Arm overhead, leg lifted. I'm showing you the modification. There's five, four, make sure you're extending the hips. Three, and two, and one, and one more to go here. So heels together. Toes open, knees about shoulder width apart, butterfly sit ups. One, two, three. I am horrible at these, by the way. Abs are flat. Four, did I count four? Five, we gave some extra rep, me probably. Six, Seven, try to roll through your spine and sit up straight. Eight, abs are flat. Nine, last one. And ten. And then we start over again. We are two and a half minutes into this already. Good, square your hips. Here we go. One, two, three. Hips go up to the ceiling. Four, five, six, shoulders over the wrists, seven, eight, squeeze your butt right there, nine, one more time, and ten. And now we have the V sits. So we're back to this position again. Chest is up. Who's got this now? Ten, nine, eight, seven, flatten your abdominals, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Side plank again. Now you see why we only want to do five on each side. Elbow under the shoulder. Lift your hips. Straighten your legs if you like. Keep one knee bent. Arm goes overhead. Leg is lifted. Five, four. Are you squeezing the bottom glute? Three. Are you lifted? Two. Last one. Other side, try to get your arm and your leg straight. Top arm and leg straight. Other side, here we go again. This time we're going to the challenge position. Leg is up. Five, four, three, two, and one. And again, what's next? One more. Butterfly sit up. Heels together. You know you're halfway there, by the way. 
Here we go. One, two, am I getting slower? I think so. Three, four, five, kind of lengthen at the top, roll down each time. Six, seven, two more. Eight. Did I say two more? I'm at two more now. Nine, and last one. And ten. And let's start over again. I know you're four and a half minutes into this. How many more rounds can we get? One, maybe one and a half. Here we go. One, two, three. How flat are your abdominals now? Four, five. Are you bracing for this whole movement? Six, shoulders right over the wrists. Seven, spread your fingers out. Eight, two more, nine. Last one and 10. Roll that over. Yep, V sits again. Here we go, almost there. Feet up and feet down, you got it, your choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. That's it, side plank, here we go again. Lift up, bottom knee can be bent, or straight, arm over the head, leg comes along. Five, four, three, that's it. Two, stabilize through your spine, and one, other side. So notice that only my arm and my leg are moving, my spine is not moving. Leg is up, go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and then last butterfly steps. Here we go. We have 90 seconds left. Can you do 90 seconds? I think so. Here we go. One, two, three, four. That's it. Keep your abs flat on the way down. Five, six, Seven, three more. Eight, two more. Nine, you're straight to the top. Last one and ten. We're getting into that fourth round, that fourth set. We have less than a minute to go. Can you do it now? I think so. Open your feet, hip width, and go for it. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, hips go up. That's it, abs are pulled in. Eight, two more. Nine, and 10. V sits, 20 seconds. Can we do it? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we've got five seconds left. Your first camera is done. One more to go. All right, your second camera app. Seven and a half minutes, four new movements. First one is a mountain climber. So you're on your hands, legs are nice and long. One, two, three, four. You get it. So 10 on each side. Hips are square, abs are pulled in. Each time you straighten out your leg, try to squeeze your butt. Pull your knee under your chest to keep your eyes up. And I'll give you more cues as we go. Second exercise, side plank rotation. So you get another side plank. This one's a little bit different. Feet again are scissored. Hand comes behind you, behind your head, elbow points to the ceiling. Make a fist with your bottom hand. Rotate, place your elbow in your fist, come back to center. Try to keep your hips square, rotate thoracically. Five of these. Then we switch and do five on the other side for a total of 10. Then we've got a half burpee, sorry. No push up, so just a little bit of a jump. You start here, one, two, that's it. All right, we've got 10 of those. And then of course, the last one is a little crisscross or bicycle. 
from Pilates. So knees and tabletop, hands behind your head, rotate. Try to keep your hips square and flat on the floor. 10 each side. Rotate your shoulder toward your knee rather than your elbow. Are you ready to do this? This is your last seven and a half minutes. Here we go. Mountain climbers to start. So hands directly under the shoulders. It's 20 or 10 on each side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Then we roll over. We have side plank rotation next. This is 10 total. So don't forget the knee can be down as a modification. Ideally, the legs are scissored, ankle is lifted, hand behind the head, make a fist. Five, open your chest. Four, try to stabilize at the top. Three, open, push the floor away from you. Two, one more time, and open. Now we switch sides. Woo, these are getting a little tough now. All right, here we go. Don't forget, modification, knee down. Make a fist with your bottom hand. Five, open, point your elbow to the ceiling. Four, stabilize at the top. Three, squeeze your inner thighs together. Two, one more time, and there we go, all the way down. Now, what was the last exercise? We have two more to come. We have half burpee. All right, so we're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, heels down, ten. Now is our last exercise, crisscross. While I have a hair, I call that a wardrobe malfunction, all the way down. Hands behind your head, knees at tabletop. One, two, three, make sure you're breathing. Four, reach your heel out. Five, so your leg is reaching out at about 45 degree angle. There's seven, eight, nine, look at your bottom elbow, and 10. Let's start everything over again. We are two minutes in. All right, hands on your shoulders. What was the first exercise? Mountain climbers. That's it, 10 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Next one, side plank rotation. Make sure you're on those planks that we just did, the mountain climbers, shoulders remain over the wrists. Elbow under your shoulder. Legs are nice and long. Arms over your head. Here we go. One. Oops. Did I mess up? Of course. One. And two. Open your chest. Three. Almost. Four. And five. Hopefully you all caught that. Other side. Here we go again. Other side. I got it this time. Five. Open. And four. Open. Three. And two, one more time, half burpee coming up. Uh, who remembers this one? Yes, all right, here we go. One, two, quick off your feet. Three, weight on your heels, four. Chest up, five. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine and Ten, down the ground. Crisscross, here we go. Whew. One, two, three, control your movement. Four, flatten your abdominals. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. More than half the group, four minutes into this. Start over mountain climbers. You got this now. I almost got this with my hair. You start when you're ready. Count it out. Got it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Boom. Down again. I blink. I got it this time. Elbow under the shoulders. Feet are scissored. Hands behind your head, elbow comes down. One, breathe. Two, are you squeezing your legs together? Three, open your chest. Two more, four, and breathe. Five, 
other side. Take your time as you switch. Elbow under your shoulder. Again, set yourself up for success. Inner thighs engage. Here we go. Five, controlling every repetition. Four, three, two, and one. Half burpee, here we go. Almost there. About two minutes to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's an eight. Quick on your feet. Nine, and last one, ten. Down the ground. All right, legs are nice and long. Reach, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 90 seconds to go, can we do it? Take a drink of water. Can we almost get through another round? Maybe. Mountain climbers, and go. One, two, three, four. Switch your butt. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All the way down. Side plank rotation. You guys have one minute to go. Elbow on your shoulder. Here we go. Hand behind your head. Make a fist. Elbow comes underneath. I know you're thinking. Make a fist so you can punch me. And two. Pull your hands up. Three, four, one more time, and five. Oh, just enough. This is most likely the last time you'll do this. And five, open, at least today. Four, three, two, last one. Yes, and now we've got the half burpee. And this is the last exercise you're doing. Go. One, two, three, four, five, Chester. Six, you've got 10 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Boom. Second round. Done. You deserve a stretch. So start by lying on your back all the way down. Grab on your ankles. Do a little rock right and left. A little happy baby. Loosen up your spine, loosen up your hips. Drop your feet down to the floor. Pull one knee into your chest, extend the other leg. Move your leg a little right and a little bit left making circles with your leg. Switch direction after you do two or three. Good, drop your foot down, pull the other knee into your chest. Extend the other leg. Good, move the leg a little right and left. And then circles in each direction, do two or three and then switch. Extend both legs to the floor. Reach your arms over your head. Take a nice deep breath into your chest, into your ribs. And exhale, release that. And do that one more time. Inhale, reach your arms and your feet away from each other. Take a deep breath into your rib cage, into your chest. And exhale. Now, roll yourself all the way over. Line your belly again. Arms beside your body. Lift the back of your head. Lift your neck and your shoulders, just like you did in the warm up. So we're activating our middle back to actively stretch the front of our body, which we worked a lot. So hold your position right here. Press your pelvis down to the floor. Take a deep breath. Exhale, lower your chest. Let's do that again. As we inhale, lift the back of your head toward the ceiling rather than the crown. Continue looking at the floor in front of the mat. Squeeze your shoulder blades down into your ribcage and squeeze your ribcage down into your hips. Exhale, lower all the way back down. 
Now reach and grab onto one ankle or one foot. Other hand comes onto the floor. Open your shoulder. You can see I'm opening my shoulder right here. Push your foot into your hand and allow the strength in your quadricep muscle to lift your chest away from the floor. Make sure you keep both hips pressed into the floor. Take a deep breath there. And exhale, lower back down. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift your chest by pushing your foot. Your foot is actually pulling your upper body away from the floor. And exhale, lower back down. And then switch to the other side. Same thing. Grab your heel or grab your foot, wherever you can reach. Start there, you feel a stretch in your hip flexor and your quadricep muscle. Press your hand or your foot into your hand and allow that, that push to pull your upper body away from the floor. Hips are still square on the floor. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale, lower. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, lift up, lift up, lift up. Open your chest, and exhale, lower back down. Hands on the floor, bring yourself all the way up. Sit back into your child's pose, open your chest. Press your sit bones or your butt towards your heels. Open your shoulders. Bring your weight back on your hands. One hand behind your head. Reach your elbow up to the ceiling. Open your chest, take a deep breath. And exhale, flex under your body. So flexing and rotating. One more time, inhale, reach up. Look up at your hand. And then exhale, come back to the other side. Hand comes behind your head. Inhale, lift and open, reach your elbow to the ceiling. Look up at your elbow. And then exhale, flex. Rotate. One more time, inhale. And exhale, come all the way back to neutral. Drop your hands back down. And you are done. Nice job.